Hey everybody, what's going on? Brendan Milley here, back with another backwoods fishing video. Today I am hiking this tiny little creek way back into the middle of nowhere. Where am I going, you might add? Well, I'm going to a spot that I found actually last fall. I actually waded this creek a little bit and I found a really cool spot nestled, nestled way back in the middle of the woods where nobody really has access to. And let's just say the fishing was pretty decent. So I am armed with my ultralight rod and reel, got some gear right here. And I'm just gonna bushwhack my way back into the woods. Hopefully we can find that same spot and hopefully we can catch some fish. As you guys can see, this is the creek that I'm currently following back into the woods. And the one thing that you may notice is that this is very shallow. And that is true. This creek is very shallow, uh, not very deep at all. And as a matter of fact, the water's even a little bit low right now. So this is the shallowest I've ever seen it. But the actual spot that I am headed to is actually a really deep pool. So hopefully there'll be a bunch of fish that'll be kind of congregated in that deep water and we can catch a few. Also today, I am not afraid to get wet, even though I didn't bring waders. It's nice and sunny out, the water's warm, and I'm just gonna have fun, splash around in the creek. All right, so I found this log that goes across the creek, and I'm actually standing on the log right now. There's a nice deep pool right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and make a couple casts in here, see if there's any fish hanging out. Got him. All right. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Big, big fish, big. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there, boys. Alrighty guys, first fish of the day right here. Beautiful yellow perch. This thing is a lot bigger than I initially thought. It's got a nice gut on it right there. Absolutely hammered that little jig. Whew, that's exciting. Alrighty guys, fantastic way to start off the day with that nice yellow perch. I knew there was some yellow perch in this creek, but I didn't know they were getting that big. That's a really nice one for this creek. So I'm very, very pumped about that. And we're not even at the good spot yet. We're just kind of fishing our way out. All right, so I caught that first perch right up there, but check out what is just downstream. Look at this. Look at this little spot, it looks so good. There's a nice little waterfall right in here and a nice deep pool. Got this beautiful log overhanging it. This spot looks incredible. I'm gonna put a bait in the water and see what happens. Got one. Oh yeah. Woo! Boom, just like that. Not, not nearly as big as the last one, but still a beautiful little yellow perch. Came right out of that awesome little pool. Sick, dude, this is so much fun. Whew. I caught that first perch out of this nice little waterfall spot and I got a couple more bites But I think the fish are really really small and my jig is just too big for them So they're not really taking it all the way in but nevertheless really cool spot We caught a fish out of it But let's continue on down the river because like I said, there's some better spots down there All right, so I just rolled up on this spot right here Really nice pool fairly deep if I remember correctly last time I was here in the fall uh, There were some perch in here. So this is a really nice deep hole especially when the water's so low like this a lot of times it'll congregate the fish in the deeper pools. So this pool looks really good. Let's give it a shot and see what happens. So I caught those few first fish off a little jig, but now I'm switching up to this little thing right here. Tiny little Panther Martin. It's a classic little spinner and it catches tons of fish. So I'm gonna throw it in this pool and see if there's any active fish. This bait is a little bit of a smaller profile and it's got a little more flash. Yep, got him right there, boom. First cast. Ooh, my, okay, not a perch. Big old creek chub on the Panther Martin. Absolutely inhaled it. Right there. Cool beans. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that fish hit it right by the bank. Look at that. Chased it all right up and just absolutely pounded it. Beautiful little fish. Little green sunfish right there. Very aggressive. Current here. Oh yeah, there's one. Something else right in the current. Oh. Another green sunfish. Okay, that's a big fish. That's something better. Oh yes. What is this? Oh, that's another perch right there, baby. <laughs> that's another nice perch right there on the spinner. Boom, right there. Beautiful yellow perch on the little Panther Martin. Definitely a bigger size. Awesome. Ever since I was a little kid, I have absolutely enjoyed catching yellow perch. They're one of my favorite fish. I just love the way they look and the colors on them are just fantastic. And they're biting really good right now. Catching them out of this little creek is insanely fun. You know what's crazy about this particular creek is that the predominant species in this creek is yellow perch. Usually when you're fishing backwoods creeks, you expect to catch some bluegill, some green sunfish, maybe some rock bass, some smallmouth bass, or some creek chubs. But again, this is the first time I've ever seen a creek that is just chucked full of nice yellow perch. They are the dominant predators in this creek, and it's a ton of fun to catch them. All right, I think I'm getting close to the really good spot. Let's see. 
Oh, yep, here it is. Check this out. So as you guys can see, this is the pool. I finally made it back to it. And as you can see, it's almost like a small pond. That's how big it is. And with the water being so low, I have a feeling this is going to hold a lot of fish. Hopefully we can catch some really nice fish out of here. I'm seeing some ripples, so I think there's actually some carp hanging out in here, which is pretty cool. But let's put a bait in the water and see what happens. And yes, I am hot. I am sweaty. But it's good to finally make it to the destination. So far, no bites. Got one right there? Oh yeah, that's something nice right there. What was that? Ooh, hello. That's a little largey. Look at that. Fantastic. Nice little largemouth right there. Sweet. See you, buddy. Here we go, fish. Here we go, fish. What have we got this time? Huh, no way. Look at that, that's a different species right there. Cool beans, that is a tiny one too. Sweet. Catching all kinds of stuff back here. Surprisingly, this spot right here hasn't yielded the best results, even though it's like a small pond nestled in the woods. We did get that one nice bass out of here, which is really nice. Uh, I was not expecting to get a bass that big out of here, so that was pretty cool. But other than that, I haven't really got a whole lot. Got a couple small perch and I got a really tiny crappie, but that's it. So my game plan is going to be very simple. So I'm actually going to work my way back to the car, but I'm gonna hit a couple more pools that I didn't fish on the way down here. And let's see if we can't get a couple more fish. Here we go. Oh, good fish. There we go. Little bass right there. Definitely getting, into, definitely getting into a lot more bass than I thought I would back here, which is pretty cool. Here we go. Another fish. Little perch right there. Sweet. These mosquitoes are absolutely murder back here. Oh my word, I am dying. There we go. Oh, good fish, good fish. Oh yes, that's what I'm looking for right there. That's a nice fish right there, wow. Stay on the line, buddy. Alrighty guys, biggest bass of the day. He'll probably go around a pound right there. Beautiful fish, caught him out of this tiny little creek again. Was not expecting to get bass this big out of here today, but I'll take it. That's fantastic. I'm trying to find my way out of here, and I think I made a wrong turn. Now I'm in like this tunnel of briars. I think this is the way out. Ah, nice. That was murder.